and we're live. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Sir Monk. Please tell me. Why did it do this? I literally checked to make sure the controller was working. There we go. Ah. So, I believe last time we completed the community center, um, we got a fair amount done in Ridgeside. And, 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 and... We found this weird Junimo thing. I believe there's a, a Junimo named Apples that wants to talk to us. I had to give him 200, uh, 100 or 200 starfruit, which is a major bummer, dude, considering that, um, yeah. Considering that I wanted to, like, sell those. But, you know, story progression over selling things any day. Come on, game. You can do it. Alright, we've made the money. Mmm, caviar. Oh no. Oh no, the different... The different, uh... Buttons, X and Y are swapped. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of this whole playing it right in front of me on my computer screen. And all that. Whoop! Ba -da -dum, bum, bum. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum. Oh, and I think I finished Grandpa's shed. We had a lot, a lot of stuff done. We were quite productive last time. Oh, sweet gem berry. Oh, and all of our trees are grown. Look at that. Gotta love to come back to Stardew when there's a whole boatload of crud waiting for you. Oh, it is done. Hey, Carl. So, what do you think? You may have seen new window panes on the roof. There's a great space to grow plants up there now. Couldn't have fixed it up without all the materials you gathered. I actually had a lot of fun and learned some new things. Hey, alien man, welcome in. I've been doing all right. I've been doing all right. How's Korea? Monk, you're not new. Stop redeeming I am new. Bottom floor would be great for aging wine. Oh, I can put more casts in here. Well, enjoy the refurbished shed, Carl. So am I going to get the cask recipe? or I can't cook with this thing? Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is just greenhouse number two. Gotcha. So 
So yeah, I'm just chilling in this game at this point. Boop. Alright, I need five more sweet gem berries. Kree's good. Perfect. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's been... It's been, in Michigan, it's been waffling back and forth between deciding. It's pretty chilly now. Two days ago, it was like 80 degrees. But today, it's now like 30. It's just above freezing. Oh, you know, there's an old there's an old saying in cold air in the EU. Yeah, there's an old say in Michigan. And that is, if you don't like the weather in Michigan, just wait. It'll change. Such a good neighbor, send me some animal feed. Wow, I don't need this. <laughs> Added three pieces of hay to the silo. I'm a bee. The bee is me. I saw a TikTok where someone was acting to, like using this filter to put their face on a big old bee. And they were singing, I'm a bee. The B is me. Some, some, I don't remember. Um, into town. And then we'll go donate some stuff. I found a secret shop where I could just buy artifacts. So that's cool. You know I did that. Ooh, this will give me a reward too. Boom. Three rewards. Look at that. Burnt offering, flute block, Ooh, magic rock candy. So what am I looking at for um, artifacts? I'm missing a skeletal hand and a trilobite. Both of those I could get relatively easily from the ginger island, so I'm not too worried about them. Minerals, just looking for calcite and um, ghost crystal. Ancient fruit wine. So yeah, now finally, boom, made of this. So I'm going to fill this in right here, and then I can go around. Yeah. How many blood points does it take to get to level, compared to level 40 in Dead by Daylight? Um, a lot. I don't, you can, that's something you have to look up. The thing about that is... Because in the blood web you get the entity taking stuff, it just varies. Um, I think more than a million. Well, no, not more than a million. But it's it's a lot. It's it's too much. I'll tell you that. Too many. Yeah, like, I'll strategically, um, avoid, like, I'll try to buy my stuff strategically so that the entity can take as much stuff as possible on the characters that I'm just leveling up to 40. Because I don't care about getting good stuff on those characters. All right, let's go. Let's go see if I can't talk to that Junimo. Everybody like my link shirt, my link tunic.
All right, you gotta love water. Water! Ooh, a purpy mushroom. Purply. Whoop. 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 I've got this one skill that makes it so that I can sometimes pick up two things when I forage, and one skill that guarantees I um, get iridium quality whenever I pick it up. Hi, apples. Sprite friends give flowers for home. Apples will share. Apples friend visits all the time. Makes apples happy. So I wonder what apples does. Like, is he just going to give me stuff? Huh. And I got to make, like, three more fish ponds. I might, mm, I might move my fish ponds over to that fenced-in area. That might be cool. Purple mushrooms, by the way, really great. Especially, you know, iridium quality. Plus 325 energy. 146 health. That'll give you a pick-me-up. Ooh, a morel. How does a morel compare? Only 52 energy? You should find some morels back, back in the day. Ooh, another morel. Kind of weird to think, like, you know, fungi are not plants nor animals. Like, there's just kind of, like, entire kingdom. Kingdom? Is it kingdom? Yeah, kingdom, I want to say. Of life. That's not inherently microscopic. That has, you know, macroscopic structures and stuff that we can see. But it's like, you know... Does anybody else think that, or am I just weird? I mean, I am weird, but is that the reason why? I'm a bee. A bee is me. Blah, 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 blah. He's a bee. I will give a bee. Bee, 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 bee. I will give a bee. You know, that's there, but I don't want to... I don't want to break it. Because, like, it's going to have, like, some iridium, maybe a prismatic shard if I'm lucky, I think. But, like, at the end of the day, I don't need either of those things. I have plenty. Should go say hi to Kroby. You know, this is not uh this is not like good pathing to get to the greenhouse. You know what? I'm going to save this sunflower just in case. Oh, I've never actually been down here myself, like independently of the cutscene. Hi, Crowby. Oh, you're back. Marlon gave you a key. He did. 
Nice to meet you. I'm happy to meet someone new. It gets lonely down here. Oh, and I, I completed the community center so I can start the wizard quest. Collected many exotic goods throughout my travels. If you have gold, you're welcome to purchase them. Come, take a look. Beep, beep, beep. Please don't tell anyone about me. He must tend to destroy things I can't understand. Yeah, I want that. That's something that I want. Ah! Uh... You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of Twitch chat. Maximum energy level increased. Mmm, Twitch chat. That's what I want. Void salmon. Oh, fine. I'll buy your recipes. Cool thing about signs is you can put them on fish ponds and it'll tell you what's in them and how many. Have you met Philip? I know from you, he's a good guy. She likes Philip. I think I need a beer or two. I just want to relax. If you need a beer to relax, that's a problem. Carl, want to play? No, it's 7.50 p.m. Go home. Ten crabs, three butterfish. And ten sturgeon. Like a sturgeon. Hey! You know, I'm glad I decided to just play whatever I wanted. It's like, not that I hate Stardew, but sometimes I feel like I'm really boring when I play Stardew. That and, like, this whole, like, controller PC setup where OBS is up here and the game's down here. Ugh. What is that? Baked fish. Thanks, Butterfish. Emily gave me cloth. How sweet. Boom, boom, boom. But a boom, 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 boom. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Da, da, da. So now I've got apples. Like, is he going to fix up the farm? The, the Aurora Vineyard? Huh. Ba, 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 ba. I'm looking this up. Of course, his name's Apples, which is also just... Which is just, like, the name of an actual thing. Okay, good. Young Junimo shows up in Aurora Vineyard Community Center. Spring twenty after spring twenty eight of year two. Oh, wow! No, I don't want to click on the ad. Get out of here, Ryan Reynolds. No one cares about Mint Mobile. No, go away. Whatever. Um, but yeah. Apple has become a giftable friend. Giftable friend. Oh, and a roommate. Extremely excitable. Often just play things. Spend time together. Well meaning eagerness. Apple. 
Apples did not have a set calendar birthday. I will not appear. The player sports Georgia Mars take over Pelican Town. Well, that's it. Oh. Well, then what's the point of this? The twins description character seems really boring to play. No one plays twins. Nobody. In all my days, I've I've gone up against literally three twins. Okay, so apples is a thing. Apricots to ancient, okay. Oh, so saplings and stuff. Star fruits, okay, cool, whatever. Oh, that's lame. I gave that guy 200 star fruit. Just so I could, just so I could gift him stuff. I'm a bee. A bee is me. Have a lava bee and a wobble jobble bee. There we go. And if I have five seaweed, which I think I do. Oh, yeah. I'm going to ask Robin to make me another fish pond. I got me a fish. Oh, jeez. Look at that. I got me a fish pond at Sweet Seeds, about 20, so hurry up and bring your jukebox money. Oh, I can give Robin a peach. Robin loves peaches. Of course, now I'm getting pomegranates up the wazoo after I, I spent so many wanting a pomegranate. Oh! Hi, Carl. I was reading a stone masonry magazine that was inspired to try my hand at it. If you supply me a little stone, I could build a little bridge to your shed. How does that sound? I was just thinking about that. Be on the safe side, I think this whole project will require 900 pieces of stone. You can drop all the stone in my storage chest anytime in my workshop. Well. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. There, nine hon nine hundo stone dough. I've already gotten to floor B one hundred of uh skull cavern, so easy peasy right there. Five minutes of the spoopy mask. Okay, okay, whatever. Ah. Oh, come here. Come here, spoopy mask.
All right, you want the spooky mask? You got the spooky mask. Okay. Good luck seeing. I feel like the eyes are lopsided. Ah, uh, whoa. Why? Is this new killer in Dead by Daylight confirmed? Um, I wanted a thing confirmed. Hmm, whatever. Okay, so we're going to do fish pond first thing tomorrow morning. Can you guys hear me, like, well enough? I think you can't. Like, it's not too muffled or anything. Oh, I was supposed to move all my stuff as well. Up. Oh. Hi, Carl. I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood, Carl? I have in real life, yes. Great, and this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. I think we become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Here, let me show you the blueprints. Yeah, you can hear me just fine. Drum block. Oh. You see the... You used to get creative on your farm. Feels good to be able to decorate your house with things you've made yourself. You love these. It's for me. Wow, I absolutely love it. That wild, wild man leaves behind our house. I guess I don't really mind as long as you don't bother us. No, I wanted... Oh, no. I can't request to move supplies. Yeah, you gotta buy things. And then buy them again. Until she runs out. I don't know why she doesn't just offer them all. You have to buy them in order. I think the marble one's the last one. Yeah. My ability to read chat is very limited. Ah, Carl, I've been waiting for you. Have I ever told you I used to be married? Yes. Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. My wife and I were together for many years, still. Until, until I made a mistake that drove her away. Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. 
when I found out, I sealed this passage into her home, fearing that she might that an innocent villager might fall. Whoop. That's time. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. But now it must be unsealed for when we separated. She took my magic ink. We, I need that magic ink back. I will do this myself, but I, I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. Wimp. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark, seal, dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. I said he, right? Krobus is a dude. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I'll make it worth your while. Now go. So then you go down here. Hey, Sophie. Ah, uh, Sophia. Talking town is such a problem with pests. Sometimes I wake up and find my garbage can knocked over. I always think of pests as bugs. A shadow person above ground? This is outrageous. Your people are responsible for the death of my entire family. If you dwarves hadn't driven us from our ancestral home, we'd never have to resort to, 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 resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry, isn't gonna cut it. Knock down, drag out. Let me at him, he's despicable. Come and get it, Shrimpy. Yeah, they keep kept referring to Krobus as they. Silence, both of you. The element of wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. The two of you must make peace for the sake of the humans that live around you. Surely you can see that. Very well, I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. And I'm truly sorry about the past, Dwarf. I have no personal gripe with you. Very good, I shall cast a seal of promise to finalize this agreement. And I believe that's the only hard event with any all three of these people. Except Krobus if if he's your roommate. Hey Krob, what's that? You're looking for a dark talisman? Hmm, now that you mentioned one, I did have one in my possession not too long ago. Unfortunately I dropped it while exploring that tunnel in the far corner. Things started heating up in there, so I left in a hurry and sealed the entrance. You seem pretty sturdy, though, so I'll open it up for you. Just be careful, okay? Yes, I do seem sturdy. Thanks, Kroby. Bug meat, good.
so that was easy, so we can do that. What type of content do I like to watch? Um, I do like to watch, when I do watch Twitch streamers, like, games like Stardew Valley. Where the streamer doesn't have to, like, laser in and focus on it all the time, so I can actually chat with the, with the streamer. Excuse me, you're my way, I'm not really in the mood to talk. Okay, screw you too. Haley 2.0. Boom. Ooh. Oh. Dwarf Scroll 4. Oh, shoot. No, I'm going to need some Void Mayo if I want. Yeah. Bup, 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 bum, bum, bum. Ba da da da. Smaller, yeah, I like to talk to smaller streamers because, like, I feel I feel at that point, um, like if I'm gonna be watching a big streamer, like I'm, I might as well just like catch a an edited down YouTube, uh, video or something like that, because it's like I could watch them live, but I don't really care to, you know. Yeah, like, I mean, obviously I'm not hitting hitting the big time or anything anytime soon. But, you know, I kind of have mixed feelings about the concept of having a chat. Like, that moment that I find, like, that, that I, I, I just kind of go, okay, chat's just moving too fast for me. That's when I'm going to be like, dang. Well, I'm going to need... A cloth. Emily gave me a cloth, too. Oh, well. Put those in there for now. You'll see later why I want to keep them. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, what else is on my... Oh, yeah, I need to ha take a Void Mayo. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, got a thing in my eye. My eyelash. Ugh. The bee. But yeah, uh, it's looking for better or for worse. It's looking like I'm not gonna have a uh, hyperactive chat anytime soon. Who knows? I could explode in the next two months. But given I haven't made any sweeping changes to my stream, um. <laughs> Since, you know, the two years stuff started. Probably not. Bye-bye. Quia, -ah, human! You want to pass? I'm oh, sorry, this is private property. That smell. I can't resist. Give me that. 
Thanks. Easy. Catch me avoid salmon. How about that? Nice. Wizards lost magic ink. That was easy. Oh. Two something witch hut. <laughs> oh my god look at this bot name i simp for hot moms jesus christ get out of here oh oh what'd he say something or did you happen to see my ex-wife no well what about, what about her house do you think she lives alone, or? Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Anyway, you must be wondering about your ward here. It's not his fault he likes moms. Welcome in. Insomni. <laughs> I mean, it's a bot, but, like, they're, the usually they're, like, alphanumeric, like, garbage, right? I'm not used to, to fully coherent statements. It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. I think you'll find it useful. Oh, I almost forgot to say. Um, thank you. Oh, yeah. Wasn't so hard to show some appreciation. Anyway, how you doing, Insami? Welcome to the stream. So that's that for the... Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that for that. I think I grew a melon specifically to give to Demetrius and then proceeded to space out and sell it. Whatever. Honk. You can't honk. Bop, da, bop, ba, da, bop, bop. Doing right. Here a bit, just have annoying. I have it open on my phone. Type your tablets uh, on the fritz. Dang. You just had to comment on the uh, on the hot mom, um, hot mom bot. I found this golden fish, a gold like aurora. You mean aura? It was urgent. You had to. You had to defend defend uh, the bot. Defend their dignity. I have to weigh in on this situation. Well, you know what? If they're coming for hot moms, I may be hot, but I'm not a mom, unfortunately. I, I hate to break it to them. You again. Morning, Carl. You gathered all the stone I requested. I'll get started on the bridge first thing tomorrow. Yes, I did. Bro, that wizard. Pumpkin soup. Dude, I made pumpkin soup live on stream. I was not a fan. I was not a fan. Fresh lobster. Uh. So, context. I, I'm, I'm doing... Uh, Stardew Valley expanded and Ridge Side mod. Insomni, what was the mod you were you doing that lets you like go to the moon? 
I wanted to move my fish ponds, but that ain't happening any, anytime soon, I guess. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Give me a truffle so I can put it back in the oil maker. Yeah, that stupid B song from TikTok. I I just heard it once. It's the first time I saw the B filter, but also remember to follow me on TikTok, everybody. But yeah, now it's stuck in my head. Moon Misadventures. Yeah, I have my hands full enough with Expanded and Ridgeside, but maybe sometime in the distant future. Given that I've cut back on Stardew, because if you if you were not in the loop, I've made a decision to stream less Stardew and more other games because I'm leaving for Japan in three months. So I kind of want to, like take this time to play all the games that I haven't played yet. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the thing. So Wednesday's my Stardew day. But yeah, that, that means I'm not going to be finishing things anytime soon. All right. This is a They Might Be Giant song called Destination Moon. I'm trying to remember how it starts. Don't bother to call this room. There's nobody here who can pick up. Oh, this. Yeah, okay. That's how it starts. And it won't be now. I I literally hovered over town despite wanting to go to the town, and then chose my Clint. Get your butt in the thick freaking thing. I don't like that he does this because once I get the key to the town, I won't be able to, I won't be able to force him to, you know, vamoose. There we go. Yeah, stone. Don't you just love it when you break open your geode to find that it's full of rocks? Who knew? Alright, to the bus stop. Alright, what's what else is on the old agenda? Like that wizard's like, Oh, can you get me the uh, talisman? It will be hard. And I literally come back like that night and I'm like, bro, I got you your freaking talisman, you pitiful pitiful man. Apparently you can date the wizard in this in this in like expanded? Cause like it says on the freaking uh character thing exactly one rock yeah yeah like here's a geode break it open I want to know upside breaks it open it's a rock it's not a boulder it's a rock it's a rock the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. And the other thing to just make money, I'm just making kegs. Kegs upon kegs upon kegs. There's a whole lot of abundant wood. You know, she's like, oh, it would be good for aging stuff. Well, guess what, Robin? Guess what? I don't have... 
any gosh darn tasks. This should be done any moment now. Oh, Clint, you poor, poor man. Clint's like the saddest character in this game, I feel. Like, he's just... He's like destined to fail. Every other every other character has like some like pretty much every other character, I think. Is he the only like tragic character? Every other character I feel like finds contentment in their life. But then Clint's just like, yeah, I like Emily and then like yeah, he asks her out, but then like you can still marry her. You know? I I guess if you didn't like date her at all, then it's just kind of like, okay, well, now maybe they're kind of like dating, but you never see any cutscenes or anything that are like officially like, yes, they are a couple. It's just kind of like, yeah, he's um not. I mean, I there was one, there was one day where I, um, I saw his his cutscene where he asks Emily out. And then that same day, I just uh, spun around and then asked her out. And then I did the cutscene where, like, you're in the mayor's house. And then Clint walks in on Emily being like, hey, Carl, I want to talk to you. And then he literally looks you dead in the face and says, congratulations, Carl. He walks in. And it's like, oh, and then I married her, and then I divorced her, and he still, still didn't get Emily. Because I was doing my evil run. Alright, well I'm all out of that. Gotta start processing all this awe. Turn around, put this one thing back. To the quarry. Remy, welcome in. How are we doing on this fine Wednesday? Glad all my Stardew buddies are, are choosing Wednesdays. There is a... Uh, the, the sad news is I will be only playing Stardew on Wednesdays now because I'm like, well, frick, I only got three months until I'm going uh, to Japan, so I gotta start playing my other games while I still have free time. Uh, how am I liking Ridgeside? It's nice. I Although you were saying that you aren't privy to a lot of the updates, right? I don't know how familiar you are about but I, there was, like, the whole, like, Ridge Forest enemies thing. I, th I believe I have beaten that. I don't know if there's more. It seems like there could be more. There's some evil sorceress in the background. Enemies OP. I didn't, I didn't find, I didn't find those, those enemies to be that bad. Um, I mean, because, like, the only, the one thing I did find annoying about them is... Sometimes I'd be trying to kill a ghost and it would just tell me I was missing. Like, and I'm like, I don't know why I'm missing. Like, if it's just a, you have a chance to miss, that's a little silly in my opinion. Because I was like slashing at one of them. I'm like, back off, back off. And it was just like, miss, 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 miss. And I'm like, bro, why, why am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? Am I stupid? But yeah, other than that, wasn't too bad. I mean, especially I got the galaxy sword. But for a bit. If I say something interesting, I'm sure, well, that's fine. I'll try to Babylon. We'll see. So Robin's supposed to be making me a thing. Oh, I guess my next main kind of goal is to get the return scepter. Because I refuse to go to Ginger Island without my return scepter. Because... I just don't want to have to deal with uh, the whole 
waiting until I get a freaking uh, thing. I'm dealing with totems and 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 building the farm obelisk. Uh uh. So I found this. That was an interesting little 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 gem here. So now my schedule is Monday Hyrule Warriors 2 Bravely De two, 2 Tuesday Bravely Default 2 Wednesday Stardew Valley. Oh, and we also have a collab at 1 p.m. Usually it's every other week, and this was the off week, but Sam, a.k.a. Frylord Gaming, offered whip, to do one in the off week, which is fine by me. So we're doing that this afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern. So that'll be fun. We are going to Ginger Island without a return scepter there. And I'm sad about it. But it's fine. Bup, 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 bup. There's also... where <laughs> There's the Pumpkin Smashers video game in the, the saloon. And I it won't let me play it. It just says Pumpkin Smashers the video game. And I'm like... Can I play? Please? Huh. That feeling when it's like 6 p.m. and you don't know like whether you want to like sit and do something random or just go to bed. You don't want to waste the day, but then you realize the whole point of the game is to have fun. So it's not a waste if you start a new day where you can have fun. Ooh, it's Queen of Sauce Day tomorrow. <laughs> Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish fruit salad. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Here's a healthy and delicious treat to brighten up your day. The most important thing to remember is you need ripe fruit. Forget the bland stuff they sell at the supermarket. I'm talking fresh-picked, juicy, bursting with flavor of fruit. Okay, now watch closely. Oh, yeah, I made cranberries. That's right. That's what I planted. Cranberries. Um... Let's see, so... I forgot to move the things that I wanted to move. I caught a butterfish. What is a butterfish? It makes it made the water all buttery. Ooh, buttery water. I didn't have too much of a problem with the ridge size enemies. Like one of them was just a pepper rex. And pepper rexes are at least in my experience, pretty darn easy to beat. Um, especially if it's just one of them. Because, like, the thing about Pepper Rexes is they can only blast fire in the four cardinal directions. So if you if you approach from the diagonal, they have to pick, like, if you approach from the northwest, they have to either pick uh, shooting flames at north or west. You know, pointing north or pointing west. And I've noticed that sometimes they can they can get sneaky and pull a switcheroo on you. And like go, boom. But like once they start, and once you figure out, what killer do I play in Dead by Daylight? I don't really pay, play a lot of killer in Dead by Daylight. Um, but when I do, uh, let's see. I've only played like literally two games of like open lobby killer and i played his spirit um the first game i got a 4k it was pretty cool but then the second game it was on haddonfield literally the last day before they took it offline to rework it and i got literally two hooks you know of 12 so that was a big oof 
but yeah, I've, I've done some games with friends. Um, I played around with Trapper, though I think the only reason I like Trapper is because um, I'm bad as killer, so I can just put traps down and hope uh, everybody steps in them. Where, where is it? There they are. It's funny, I pick up a, a peach off the ground in the cave, and it's iridium quality, but I get one off my tree. I want to say it's like every season, maybe, they up in quality. Like with fruit trees, eventually they'll start giving you iridium fruit. On a few maps, you can sneak. You can't sneak around while well, with Ghostface. Yeah, like Iry of Crows is very tan. You know, very like hard to sneak around in. Uh, town. <laughs> Look forward to it. Thank you. Hmm, I wonder how I'm going to get the gold for his commission. Oh, is this a story behind his solid gold Lewis statue or something? Hey, Carl, you dropped by at a good time. I need to source 30 gold bars for a project. was wondering if you were interested in seeing her as your adventurer and all. Yeah, that could happen. For payment, I was thinking I could use one of my new tools to clear away the thicket. To clear away thicket on my farm. Which one? That big shed of yours is near natural hot springs. I'd clear a path for you. Okay. Because, like... Thicket is, like, a, a discreet noun. Like, right? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone, but you clear away a thicket. You don't clear away thicket. Like, a thicket is, like, a patch of... I don't know. Gold bars on my English shelf, ingot, English ingot shelf in the corner. Give me that geode. Pop her open. Ooh, iridium. I need calcite and ghost crystal. That's what I'm missing. I found a secret spot in, uh, in Stardew Valley expanded in the uh in the the woods, the forest. And they were selling artifacts. And I was like, well this is convenient. how many thirty? Holy moly. They really yep. expand is like, yeah, you're getting this, we know. We, we know. We know that you're an expert at this game at this point. If you're getting started Valley Expanded, you ain't starting out. We want 30 gold bars. Pay up. We know you can do it. So the other thing I can do is like do runs through Skull Cavern just to get more stuff. Oh, so is she done? She might be done with my... Yes. I think I'll put the puppy fish in there. Get up and stretch. Okay, folks. Everybody watching the uh, the stream right now, lurkers and all, legally obligated to get up and stretch. Sorry, guys. It's not a shorts day. No no leg reveal today. So everybody take some deep breaths so you don't get a head rush. And then stand up. Do the classic arms over your head. Just just woke up, sitting up in bed, stretch. Alright, now take your left arm, put it to the right over your head, stretch out your left side. Right arm over your head, stretch out your right side. Lean to the left. Bend over, touch your toes if you can. Ah, hands on your lower back, lean backwards, stretch out your abs. 
And then, of course, the classic SpongeBob. Bring it around town. Swivel your hips. Bring it around town. Get that hip mobility in there. And then, uh, roll around your neck. Rolling your head around your neck. A deep breath in. And then, relax all the tension in your shoulders. And melt back down into your chair. Wasn't that nice, everybody? Thanks for participating. By the way, that's 200 pumpkin pips once per stream, max. So if we have two streams in a day, both both streams can experience a get up and stretch. Ugh. And if I'm collaborating with someone, I'm going to force someone. You just got a B plus in sports? You can fail sports. Go get an A. You said which twice. Oh, you're really happy you got it, which you're really happy about? Okay. You see, I wouldn't even have registered if you hadn't pointed it out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like in like physical education classes in America. Um, it's like just to kind of teach you about sports and not to actually test your athleticism. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, I didn't even register. I never finished tapping all these things. I'll just make like 15 and then we'll see. But yeah, PE was like, how they would do it is in my high school, they had a policy where if you could like pass the final with a certain grade, you could, you could test out of a class. But how they kind of avoided preventing you from testing out of PE unless you were like, um, physically fit was like, they would make, they made the final exam really hard like, in terms of, like, physical ability, but it was, um, why are you singing Sonic Adventure 2? Don't let Remy know. Don't let Remy know you're singing Sonic Adventure 2. She'll probably start gushing about it. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Can't stick around, have to keep moving on. Guess what lies ahead? Only one way to find out. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. The only I only know that from Smash Bros. I've never actually played... I haven't played many Sonic games at all. Like, my problem with Sonic games is, like... With, like, a Mario game, right? You know, no matter what the Mario game is, it's probably going to be, like a certain level of quality. Like, I ha I have a expe certain expectation of quality with a Mario game. With a Sonic game, I'm like, ooh, could be, could be anywhere across the board. Follow me, set me free, just bad boogie bad, we'll escape from the city. Yeah, like I said, the only reason I know that song is from Smash Bros. I saw an interesting thing about Sonic games, like, and how um, Mario and Sonic were both 2D games, you know, successful 2D games, but then Mario very successfully made the jump to 3D. You know, with, like, praise all around, but Sonic was kind of lackluster. 
And the reason being that, like, um, with Sonic levels, the emphasis being on uh, speed, like running through at a high speed, the levels just have to be physically longer in order to have, like, the duration be, lo be like, a certain, uh, you know, still substantial. And so, therefore, like, when you're designing a 2D stage, like, that's fine. It doesn't, like, it doesn't take a lot more, like, memory. But when you're designing a 3D, spa uh, um, like, stage, the longer it is, like, the, like, it takes up a lot more memory. So, the reason that, where's my puppy fish? That, you know, Sonic kind of struggled making the, the transition was because, like, it's just really hard to make giant levels like that. Whereas we look at, like, Super Mario 64, and all of the levels are, like, very small. Like, not very small, but, like, they focus on, like, wringing as much content out of it as possible. Um, like, you, okay, you, 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 uh, Super Mario 64, you, you boot it up, you uh, fire up a bomb battlefield, right? And then there's, like, six different stars you can get. Um, Sonic and Mario aren't too different. Explain. Elaborate. Yeah, that's, that's my big thing about... Yeah. Only one puppy fish allowed? Mommy. Okay. Um ba -ba 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 All right, I gotta move. I gotta move these guys. Oh shoot! I should have. I should have brought more materials to build another one. I'm kind of sad. Fish ponds are really cool, but they're just not like good uses of money, like for good money makers at all. I do appreciate though that I can. Uh, just move buildings in one day. Like, immediately. And I don't have to pay 10,000 bells and wait a real life day to move a building. Hypothetically. Both platformers are slightly similar stage. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess. They're both 2D side scrollers to begin with, um, platforming. But yeah, their approach to platforming is, is very different. Because while um, Sonic overall focuses on like breakneck speed, Mario focuses on um, more of like the precision aspect, I feel. Of having control. And yeah, so like... You can shove a lot of... Like, again, I haven't played a lot of Sonic. Like if... I'm trying to think... I'm trying to think if I... Like... Have I? I've got to. I've got to have played a Sonic game before. I know we had Sonic in the Secret Rings, but I think I just watched my brother play that. 
Oh, there's Robin. She's not here. And I never played it myself. Like, actually played through the game. I don't think I've ever played through and beaten a Sonic... I had Sonic Rush. I got stuck on that game, and then I got... Did I beat... I think I just watched my brother play Sonic Heroes as well. <laughs> my brother revisited Sonic Heroes, and we were looking at it, and it was like, wow, that game was really poorly coded. There's so much uh, jank baked into that game. Ugh. <sighs> Bum, 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 bum. Good old puppy fish. How many is it? Max five, I think, for the butterfish. Max four. Okay, so we should be expecting a quest from the butterfish. Any time now. Ooh. Heck yeah. Oh, shoot. I should have said, like an idiot. I should have saved some of my caviar. I keep hearing Sonic Mania is like... Great. Oh, well, there's, there, there it is. Right on cue. Mm. Butterfish row. Listen to the relaxing sounds of the rain. Alright, where did I put... There we go. Okay, so... Got my own personal sewing machine here. Put cloth and a dwarf scroll four to get a gilded shirt. Gold trim shirt, and then that's dyeable. And then you can choose what color you want it to be. There you go. Boom. More pro singing. There we go. So there, this is, if you look in the bottom left corner of my screen, and then look at me, and then look in the bottom left corner of the screen, and then look at me, of my overlay, not the screen. Um, there we go. Must keep on moving ahead. No time for guessing. Follow my plan instead. Trusting in what you can't see. 
Take my lead, I'll set you free. Follow me, set me free. What? Where, where is it? I that doesn't say, follow me, set me, trust to be, and we'll escape. Trust me, and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow me. Yep. I don't know. That's about as far as I can go. Void salmon. Um, prismatic shard. It's also one of them. Aged wine, which I don't have. Dino mayo is also another one. I'll have to wait on that. And then I believe it's five gold quality ancient fruit or more, which I have. So I'm gonna probably gonna need to buy a house. Well, I'm not gonna need to buy a house upgrade, but Ugh, something in my way. We gotta play down some like tile or something. Okay, so let's go to Abandoned Joja. The Joge. So is Morris just gone? Like, can I not befriend Morris anymore? Should I have befriended him before? The missing bundle. Yeah, so. Five ancient fruit. Bang. Gold quality. Void salmon. Bang. Prismatic shard. Bang. Caviar. Bang. Dino mayo is the last one. I'm not sure if I have one. I'll have one within the next few days. Dang, that would have been great. Walk into um, Abandoned Joja Mart and then immediately complete the missing bundle. Actually, I could have. If I was smart, I could have saved some Dino Mayo. Dynamayo. Dino Mayo. Darn it. No Dio Mayo. Dino Mayo. But I can... Finish the 30 gold bar. Don't, yeah, because I already have the gold Lewis statue. So, like, what? Does he want a, a, another one to replace? That's right. I've got the bear's knowledge. I can sell blackberries for th thrice their val normal value. Uh, it's the town. It would be good to explore the lines. Who knows? We might find some rare ores. Now what? What do I get for it? I assume I'll have to come back. Like, what's my reward? Like, I just gave you 30 gold bars, dude. Where? Pay up. Okay. 
Okay, oi, 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 pay up, mate. Oh, I want another fish pond. Put my king salmon in. I'm kind of just putting fish ponds, um, a bunch of fish ponds for, like, the stuff. For, um, all the new fishies. Else I'm going to grab you the stabby. That's a, that's a new one. Oh, Robin! Does anybody who played Fire Emblem uh, Awakening remember when Lucina tried to assassinate Robin of her own free will? I do. You got a license for stabbing? Yeah, I got my stabbing license. Right, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. I got a uh, the main theme for Dragon Quest Eleven S Echoes in an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. It's stuck in my head. It's like so. It's so dramatic. It's like, bum, 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 bum. Bum pa 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 pa. Bum pa 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 you get the idea. Sorry if I'm uh, serenading you all with unwanted. Orchestral, a cappella orchestral mimicking. I just want blackberries, you know? It's so foggy. Where's all the black bees? Blackberries. Anything interesting? 80 hardwood. Sure, I can kill some bats, you wimp. Hmm, is there anywhere that has an abundance of bats? Like, just bats galore. I can just KO all the bats. Oh, nice. I don't have to worry about all the, all the blackberries are already in quality now. Because I got that skill. I can't swing on the tree. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I wonder if that book in the library still says the glacier fish can be found off the south point of Arrowhead Island, considering that Arrowhead Island was merged with the mainland in the mod. Are there not blackberry bushes out here? You'd think there'd be blackberry bushes absolutely galore. 
Oh yeah, Clint said he would clear the thicket on my farm if he gave me the the gold. That's what he said he'd do. Some labor exchange. Hey, it's the hat mouse. I already have the best hat in the game. Occult red scarf. No. What can I not access? There we go. I was gonna say there's there's a few spots I think in Ridgeside that I found like it was like forageable, but it was like trapped behind like some bushes or or otherwise it was out of reach. And I'm like, bruh. Oh yeah, sixty nine blackberries. I wonder how much money these blackberries are going to give me. Luckily, the game does a, a money breakdown. So, 69 iridium quality blackberries at triple the price. Nine thousand. Okay. I suppose I should have expected more. <laughs> hey, uh, I looked around the thicket by your shed. Looks like I was right. It does lead somewhere nice. Path will be cleared by tomorrow. Thanks again for helping out, Carl. Ooh, we got Cranbees. That's a lot of cran bees. Dear Carl, one week fair. Okay, Tardew Valley Fair. I'll probably forget. And then pull together a winning display anyway. Is this a... Uh, just chilling? Just enjoying the sound.
Can't believe I forgot to tap all the trees. Pet the cattle. You just walk past that poor plant without picking it. Come on, Dino, make an egg. I don't have a cellar. I'm just waiting for a, the Dino to make an egg. Oh, shoot. I forgot about this guy. Ah, uh, barnacles. Looks like I need to get another sprinkly. Like an iridium sprinkler. I could replace one of the other sprinklers with the iridium sprinkler. But then I... Arg. I'm going to have to redo that sometime. Uh, so what does the iridium sprinkler need? Like a battery pack... An iridium and like gold or something. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the math ain't going to work out here. Okay, well, if I do that, then I do this, and then this, I can do this, and then that, and then that, and then that, and I should be good. Well, that means I can just sell all the rare seeds. I need 900 stone to build that small bridge. So I think it's going to be my king salmon. And then the goldfish are going to come next. Really benefit from like a hopper. want the puppy fish to reproduce so then I can put more puppy fish in there. This is something silly like the puppy fish can only um, 
Puffyfish Pond can only su su a sustain one, which would be extra silly. The big pond. It's Mr. Grumpy Pants. Oh, you are here. Come back later. I'll have questions for you. What? I think there was some... I've noticed with the main game, too, where it's like they're walking to their destination, but then they act as if they're already there. I'm trying to think of like a, spe a specific example, but they'll be like, oh... <sighs> Something like they would say... I don't remember. Say something about like being somewhere. Whether they would only say if they were there in the moment, but they were like leaving there, walking home. There's a 10% chance if you recycle a soggy newspaper, it will produce cloth, which is, I believe, the fastest way to get cloth in the game. I did a speed run on my birthday last year where my goal was to get, um, get put on a pumpkin mask as quickly as possible, which considering I'm going to have a fun time fun times ahead on my birthday given that it will be about a month before I'm supposed to leave for Japan I am scheduled or you know I, I, I am planning I'm in the process of planning a, a subathon I've never done a subathon before I'm gonna call it Carl's last chance subathon because the idea is it's your last chance to subscribe and still be able to use it because like if you subscribe right before I leave then you can't use your sub on my channel because like I'll be gone and I won't be streaming and you won't be able to use your emotes in my chat. Hey Andy. Someone's having a Rory Vineyard Farmer and suddenly overgrown my stuff is missing. Maybe it's time for me to move on. Um, But yeah. So I was thinking like every sub that we do that I get or every donation or every bits adds time to the timer. I got to figure out what to do. I was thinking it might be fun to do a um, a a Carl the Pumpkin Man trivia, like do a Kahoot and then have trivia. Um, and every question would be one that you could know the answer to theoretically if you watch my streams and pay attention to my YouTube and then and follow my Instagram and my TikTok and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I thought that would be cool. And then I have this this thing for a year of of Nintendo Switch Online that I think it would be nice to give um as a prize for the first place person. And I was thinking maybe if we hit certain time goals, we could do something like a pie to my face. Or, um, or like dump a, a bucket of ice water on me or something. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to slay fifty bats. I completely forgot. Hmm. 
So I wonder what this hot springs thing is. Like, is it going to be, like, an easier way to recover energy? Like, the, the, um, kind of like an easier, uh, more accessible hot spring? You know, or spa? Or what? Down I go. Why are you running, coward? I have no idea why you have to kill 500 of those little punks to get the reward. I mean, maybe the reward's so good, like it's a burglar ring, like, yeah. No bats. Is there like a certain like thing in the mine that has the has more bats? Let's see. I don't think it, Ridgeside doesn't have any bats. Like usually, the finding the ectoplasm is a pain, but you just go to Ridgeside and there's a lot of ghosts. Oh. <sighs> and also, how's my Fishing level 9. Slowly but surely. Taking care of all of the gold. Get making into gold bars. Until someone asks for like gold ore, and then I'm gonna be like, God dang it. Why did you not ask me this earlier? I don't know where all my amethyst is, but it's supposed to be there. There it is. And the topaz, too. Topaz, too? Topaz, too. Like Toto, too. Did you know that in the Wizard of Oz, Toto could speak English the whole time, but just chose not to? That's canon, by the way. Because all animals, when they go to Oz, can speak In the books, the, the, there's like there's a whole series of books, and I like read them all, you know, by the original author. And like the last line of this, the entire series, I want to say, revolves around this. And and it's, it's like someone mentioning to Dorothy, like yeah yeah like Toto should be able to talk, you know, he's an animal in Oz. So, then she calls Toto in and says, Hey, Toto, what the frick, man? Um, why, why, why haven't you been saying anything to me this whole time? And I, I'm not, I'm not going to let you leave unless you say w at least one thing. And then he says, Okay, here I go, and then runs away. 
And then that's it. That's the end of the series. And I was like... And I bet you you could find at least one point in time where it would have been highly beneficial for Toto to talk. But, you know, that's just me. Ooh, ancient fruit. Give me... Oh, am I... I'm full up. Gosh barn it. I'll be back. Uh, it's kind of the problem of having every fruit tree in the game. You don't have the inventory space to hold on to it all. Oh, but Clint told me this should be done. My my stuff should be done, right? No. Forgot. So, what do I games do I play off stream? I don't really play any much of anything off stream. Like, I I play six out. You know, like I stream for six hours Monday through Thursday. Um. So recently, I haven't really be been playing anything off stream, but. Like, I, uh, if it's, like, a game with friends. It's, so, mostly nowadays, it's just Dead by Daylight off stream. Um, but, yeah, I pretty much get my video game fix on stream as well. And now that I'm playing everything on, like, now that every game that I have yet to play is now an option for, you know, playing on stream, I'm, like, yeah, I don't I don't feel pressured to play anything off stream. So yeah, the short answer is nothing right now except for Dead by Daylight. Um but yeah, earlier in the year or not or like about a year ago or whatever, I would I would play games off stream as well. Uh, most of my free time is spent like filming and editing TikToks or just watching YouTube videos or other Twitch streamers. Um What was I going to do? Just going to throw a king salmon in there. I'm going to run out of stone. Oh, and I need to... Yeah, one of these. Oh no, I'm soaked. Okay, lady, make me a... I'll make me a fish pond. It's as big as a whale. And it's heading on down to the love shack. I got me a Chrysler. It seats about 20. So hurry up and bring your jukebox money. The love shack is a little old place where we can't get together. Love shack, baby. Oh, I wasn't supposed to seed that thing. I was just supposed to start harvesting them and selling them. And then planting ancient seeds instead. Getting 
going to do be doing a Q&A as well. Um for my my subathon and we'll see if people ask me stuff. I did a Q&A on my birthday stream but like no one was there to ask anything. Really? There was like one guy there and I kind of put him on the spot. I was like, "All right. Well, you're the only one here. Want to ask me questions?" It's like, "Uh, I don't know." And then, of course, like right before I leave for Japan, I'll be doing a a Japan Q and A, a Japan centered Q and A of like, did I just sell all my coal? Did I did I just sell all my coal? Yeah, I did. That's a that's a reset. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. I might as well check, um, yeah, Queen of Sauce, see if I ran a salad, I already know, okay, so that means if you check Queen of Sauce on Wednesday and she doesn't give you any new recipes, then that means that you're, um, all caught up, and she only gives new recipes, you know, she's got a two-year cycle, so if you watch, um, the Queen of Sauce on a Wednesday, after uh, year two, and you you don't get a new recipe. That means either you have all the recipes if you're playing on single player, but if you're playing on co-op, it means that um, it could mean that you have the recipe that someone else doesn't have, because I think it picks a random recipe that one of the players doesn't know, and then plays it. So if you play it, if all of your players watch it on a Wednesday and they all get a uh, notice saying, hey, you are noticed with this recipe, then yeah. Whip, 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 whip. So, oh well, that, that works out too, because I, I, then I can just sell the sweet gem berry. I don't have to replant it. It's a square tree.
Oh, shoot. I need to... I need to put the fish back in the pond and then request another fish pond be made. Ugh. Yep, okay, that and that, and then, yeah, make another one. I need to do this, and then I need to do that. There we go. I could have just bought more coal from Clint, but I refuse. There we go. So now that's be ooh, more blackberries. Okay. Then we need to throw the, the king salmon in there. And then we'll put the golden fish in the last one. Oh, okay, over here. I thought it was going to be like north. Okay, I wonder, like, how... Oh. Mahogany. Mahogany. Do, 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 do. Mahogany. Do, 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 do. Mahogany. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it is it is a hot spring, looks like. I bet you I can waltz in there. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Wow. I got a tree up in the corner. There, and I'm full energy now. In the rain. Okay, so nothing too crazy. You know, that, that's that's standard in line. Unlocks uh, access to some mahogany trees, presumably um, regrowing. Then, yeah. Bup, 
bum, 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 bum. I assume the king salmon's a one banger. No, it's a five. Okay. Isn't it usually three? Like a maximum capacity of three? Oh, we got seven oak resins. Interesting. That's seven more kegs, potentially. Yeah, tree fertilizer, I mean, it's a pain to make a lot of because you get a lot of stuff. You, you know, you have to use, like, fiber, which, is, which you have to, like, grow if you want to get a lot of it. And it's just, uh, it's a mess. Ugh! So it's nice that, what's his face, Kim Poi, sells it for, like, Ten gold, literally. There we go. I was going to say, I brought up exactly the amount that I needed, right? Feels kind of weird that you go into this mine and there's a Grim Reaper statue and you take its scythe. And that's what you're supposed to do. Like, that feels like natural progression to be like you, you, like, get smote from the heavens or something. Or the actual Grim Reaper visits you and, and is in your sleep and takes the scythe back in your soul as well. So yeah, three, six, nine, three, six, eight. Yeah, we got another second chance. Three more. So that's growing. I should be getting that, you know, before the end of the year. I don't think before the end of the season, though. They take six, 26 days to grow normally. Twitch con. Twitch con Amsterdam. Alright, well, let's go to bed before I get more uh, uh, soaked. But yeah, apparently TwitchCon Amsterdam uh, tickets are on sale now. Even old New York was once New Amsterdam. Why they changed it, I can't say. People just liked it better that way. The secret to making sure you got enough uh, bars is to just keep running stuff through the ringer. Although, I probably should be doing, like, iron and, and copper so I can use my oak resin up. Bum, 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 bum. We got some dino, a uh, dino egg this time. Come on, baby dino egg. Nope. Darn. But once I get the dino egg, then I get the dino mayo, which means I can donate to the missing bundle, which means that I can get the movie theater.
Ugh. My tumbly's rumbling. Let's say, yeah, well, less than an hour left on stream. You know, it's getting, it's approaching lunchtime. A lot of ancient fruit. Although, especially when I get more kegs, I'm going to start running out of uh, star fruit. And then I think I might be catching up. I was at a point um, in my last save file, like I had a bunch of ancient fruit on the Ginger Island farm. And then what I would do is every Friday or whatever, because ancient fruit takes a week to regrow, to reproduce uh, fruit once it's fully mature. And then a keg of ancient fruit takes um, a little less than a week to like go through. And I would just harvest everything on that day. And then I'd turn around, throw them all into kegs. Um, and then, excuse me, Poople, Poople, get out of the way, thank you, Poople, yeah, and then I would just sell all the wine and, and refill everything and then sell all the extras, refill everything with all the normal quality stuff and then the, um, silver quality and then the gold quality. Because it doesn't matter what quality stuff you put into a keg, you're going to get normal quality wine out, unfortunately. If you want to get higher quality wine, you need to age it. So I'm planning to make this like a snake, where you'll snake your way through. To the bus stop. Oh. Someone visited my stream from Hover. That's awesome. Welcome in if you're still here. Oh, that that kind of reminds me of um. There was like you know Ninja, of course, famous streamer, all of himself, but oh, I put the puppy fish row in. I didn't want to do that. He he like made a paid class. I don't know how he did it. I think he did it through Twitch. But you had to like pay to log in and and view it. Of, like, how to become a, a, the next hit streamer in 30 days. And, like, one thing. Five hun honeys. That is not how you spell honeys. Jars of honey. Um, but he was telling you to, like, call out your lurkers. Like, pull up your, your chat. Um, users in chat. And then call people out by name and be like hey talk and it's like dude if someone you know if you want to appeal to your lurkers and be like hey question for anyone you know clearly appealing to anyone and then you ask it that's fine but like if you know because you're you're just giving someone an in an opportunity to speak but at the end of the day a lot of people just want to lurk in your stream and not talk like and the reason that they're not talking is because they don't want to talk and if you call them out oftentimes it's like a lot of dis it could be very disconcerting um if you call them by name and say hey you talk to me right now i'd be like if you're watching a podcast or listening to a podcast and then all of a sudden they start calling you by name it's like you're not you know i just wanted to lurk here man um five honeys uh that's going to be a problem. 
because I don't think I'll have enough time for for five honeys. Can you get a bee? Can a bee house work inside a greenhouse? Huh. So I've just been selling the honey. Of course, it has to be honey, of all things. In you go. Alright, so we can put those two there. And then we can start doing that, and then that, and then that. And I can make one keg. Yeah, I'm gonna need more iron. Ah. I just break down and, and buy more iron. It's like, uh, I don't wanna go to the cave. It's like bats. Like, bats are a frustrating one when you specifically wanna go for them. Because, while sure, they are, like, basically anywhere, they're, like, rare anywhere. You know? You can find them anywhere, but not easily. Have you met Philip? Yes. One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. I haven't jumped rope in like forever. Good cardio, I guess. I just had a sudden craving for a slice of banana cream pie, which is very weird because you know what? I that would ruin my appetite. You can shake these shrubs. Does anything ever come out when you shake the shrubs? Ugh. a lot of blackberries. Holy cow. Taken in the ambiance. Crows cawing. <laughs> Almost a hundred blackberries. I just need one more bush. Oh, well, those are, that'll do it.
There we go. A hundred and six blackberries. All wow. iridium quality. And due to my my wallet, my bear's knowledge, they all sell for triple the price. And that should all be prepped. And I'll be out of iron, which is a pain in the in the butt. Granted, I did give thirty iron ingots, iron bars to Robin to fix up Grandpa's shed, and I won't even be using it. But whatever. Okay, one honey. Good. King Salmon Row. What do you want, puppy fish? Wild bait. I don't know. I don't know how to craft wild bait, unfortunately. Linus is pretty... It's a hard event with Linus, I know that. Oh, wait. One more copper bar. And then, yeah, I should be able to do that. And will we get the Dino Mayo today? Oh. We will. How nice of the pig to pick the trouble up right in front of the oil maker. I'm, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm pretty sure, like, it wouldn't make any sense if an ir the iridium uh, truffle was more value than truffle oil, but I'm just going to be like, probably not. I never looked it up because it's one of those things where you're like, that wouldn't make any sense. Taking a, a, a product, putting it in a machine to process it to have less value. Okay, I need... I need to just... Make more furnaces. I'm sorry. Oh, you need 20 copper ore? Oh. That's a lot of ore.
making sure I'm not selling my coal. Well, that'll speed up the process somewhat. Not a lot, but somewhat. So yeah, nice, nice serpentine pattern there. So I can snake my way in there. What it what do they want? Wild bait. Could go to the desert. Yeah, I'll go to the desert. Swing by. Pick up some uh, iridium quality. Uh, iridium quality cactus fruits. There we go. Iridium quality coconut. Iridium quality. Two iridium quality cactus fruits. Three iridium. Four. Five. Linus is going to be a happy guy. See, what does that get me? 195 energy. 7 health. See, I don't even need a golden mask because I bought one. Let's deal with this cactus. Cactus is huge. Knowing the cactus will continue to grow larger fills you with assurance. I feel like that's like a, a weird like Undertale reference. Because in Undertale, all the save points are like, knowing that the mouse will get the cheese fills you with determination. And I can save these because the coconuts, that's the best gift for Haley. And the cactus fruits are best gifts for Linus and Sam. I kind of like this foraging thing, not going to lie. Like the getting hardwood from wood is, is cool and all. But especially given like end game, hardwood is fine. And like wood is the main problem. But 
in this, you know, in Expanded, there's just so much wood. So many trees. Who texted me? Dad offering to bring back food. I would love food. But wonderful, you made my day special. You can learn a lot from trees. Spend time with them and they might tell you their secrets. Okay. Gotcha. So one heart is 250 friendship points and Iridium quality gift, loved gift, is 120. Georgia Corp, like more like Georgia Dead. Sup. Per time. Supper time. Okay. <gasps> people. Hi. Hi, people. <laughs> Are you just like running along the tracks? What's this? Does it give me hay? No. Well, I might as well give it to bananas. No, no, bananas are actually pretty darn rare. Like they're 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 end game um stuff. Because they grow on banana trees, and you can only get the banana saplings from. After getting going to Ginger Island. I mean, there might be some way that you can get them all. Like, not, not good enough with Haley. But yeah. So you got to find a banana sapling from Ginger Island and then let it sit for. Um, a full month before it'll start giving you what you want. Oh my god, this is my favorite thing. Is that grass stain on your knee? Sorry, I'm allergic to grass. I don't like Haley. Carl, it's great to see you. Gus, may I make Carl a drink on the house? Sure, Emily. Carl, enjoy the free drink. We appreciate the business you've given the saloon. I haven't bought, like, anything from them. Yay, here's our cocktail menu. Which drink would you like? None of them. Start up soon cocktail. Shooting comet. Whiskey, gin, vodka, rum, tequila. You got anything virgin? I don't drink. Uh, okay, let's let's skip over the the drink. Lime juice, mint leaves, sugar, mm, sugar syrup, lime juice, sparkling water. That's a cranberry juice, Cointreau. I don't know what that is. Lime juice, lemon juice. Wow. I don't know what grenadine is. Red Moon, this is Robin's favorite. Good choice, Carl. Okay. Give me just a moment while I whip this up for you. Voila! Here you are, Carl. I hope you enjoy it. Right through the pumpkin. Drink was amazing. Heart. Haha, you're welcome, Carl. Round of drinks over here, please. Coming right up. Pierre. A round of drinks over here, please. Looks like my night is about to get busy, Carl. If you need to be anywhere to find me, enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't need Emily. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I want to talk to Emily. I want to talk to Sam. He's going to be playing... 
Deadpool. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, my absolute favorite. Victor is playing Pumpkin Smashers. Dang it, they thought of it all. You can get wild bait from treasure chests, but this game has a habit of like um like you have to get the recipe first before you can find it, that sort of thing. All right, there's about 20 minutes left on stream, so I think I'll just go to bed early and then have this be the last day of the stream, and then we'll take our lunch break. There we go. You know what? I'm running right to... I'm running right to the missing bundle. To the missing bundle with me. Before I forget and sell the um, Dino Mayo, because that's absolutely something I would do. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum bum bum ba dum 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 All the others made it back, except me. Now I can go home, too. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, Junima, buddy. Bye. Oh, he's so cute. Something good will happen soon. I already took care of that.
Lots of fruit trees. They're all fictional. Here's here's the fictional side. The only two fruit trees I'm mix, mix, blah, 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 mixing missing are mangoes and bananas. Which are Ginger Island exclusives. I don't think you can even get them in Skull Caverns if you get lucky. All right, now we run back. I need to put, like, piles down in between those as well. So much to do. Kaboom! Nice plank floor, so I don't have to deal with stupid little saplings. Blocking my way. Ah! God dang, gosh dang barn hot dog. What the heck is here, then? Ooh, an acorn. There we go. Okay, so then that should be easy to run around. Usually you have an abundance of stone from doing the Skull Caverns, but I've been pretty efficient this file. Got done with this Skull Cavern pretty early. To floor 100, you know. So I don't have a lot of uh, stone, but I have a lot of wood because of the fact... That there's so many trees around here. There we go.
Oh, I could put, actually, I could do this and be more efficient and just stuff one right there. That way everything's still accessible. There you go. Yeah, I'll just throw it down there. I'll figure it out later. Gotta snake my way through. Uh Reward for you. Maybe a special. Everything I need to survive and more. And it plays a wonderful tune if you can only learn to listen. I also spent a lot of time reading. The reasons I stopped in the valley was for the great library. So yeah, that's... I would imagine, yeah, five hearts with him. So we leave and then come back. Might have to not be... Eh, it might have to be not raining. He'll teach us how to make wild bait. Then we can make some wild bait for our puppy fish. How are we with Haley? One heart. No. Okay, well, she doesn't get the Iridium Coconut then. Oh my god, your favorite thing. You don't get it. Start running the iridium through. Sell this, and then I think it might be time to hit the hay. Okay, so that's going to be it for this stream. I will be coming back in an hour after lunch with a surprise. Ooh, Jojo Bart. But yeah, a surprise collab stream on our off week with Fry Lord Gaming. So feel free uh, to come back and catch that. If you are not following and you like what you saw, 
Feel free to drop a follow so you can be notified. Like I said, I'll be back in an hour, but I need to eat because I get hangry. With that, I hope I'll see you after the break. Bye.